Finally, let's see how this works. Hopefully it works out okay. That's what we're gonna have to find out. Yeah, I, no, I think I'm good to the audio. Do I sound good to the Game Boy sounds right now? <laughs> Cartoony Resident Evil. Now then. So, obviously we're playing via emulation, so I can just kind of reset whenever. So, with that said, are we good to go? Do we all feel fine and dandy, ready to play Resident Evil Gaiden? Hopefully we are. Better turn down my own audio for a second, so it doesn't sound too loud to me. Do I, did I sound good to the game, by the way, or was the game a little bit loud? Should I turn it down? Should I turn myself down? How did it all go? Ugh. Music's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ryan, please read everything. Well, of course I'll read everything in the game. It's what I do. It's how I roll. It's Game Boy font. Anyways, we ready? I think we're ready. Let's do this. I'm ready for the Gaiden. Let's roll with it. Hey everyone, this is Dusko Maka Aesthetic Gamer, and we are playing Resident Evil Gaiden, the 2001 Game Boy Color Resident Evil game. That's completely uncanny and takes place on a ship and some other things. We're going to get more into everything about this game in a bit. Uh, this is not a completely blind Let's Play. I did play this game years ago. But I don't think I ever beat it, and it was so long ago that I hardly remember a darn thing about it. There is the Resident Evil Gaiden. Little font there. We're going to just get kind of straight into this and see what we think about the game. Enter. Hmm. There's a continue because I think I pressed start on the game. Is this game auto save? I didn't even do anything. I just literally started and stopped the game. It's the same little screen we got here, though. Let's just say new game and go straight into it. In an effort to put a stop to the global cons or operations of the evil corporate entity, Umbrella Pharmaceuticals Inc., an underground organization was formed. This organization consists of former STARS members and ex-Umbrella employees. Somewhere in North America at this underground organization's hideout, 2.30 a.m. Well, it's completely uncanny. Of course, the STARS never went on to do that. On top of that, um, well, Leon's going to be part of it. see Barry. Reporting for your duty, Barry. So I'm going to say it as Dorically for a moment there. Anyways, Barry is off. Chief. Good to see you, Barry. I have a mission for you of the utmost urgency. Oh boy. A new type of bioorganic weapon developed at Umbrella's Labs has escaped. The Umbrella Labs. You know, because they have one single laboratory that just escaped. This VOW is believed to be among the passengers of the luxury ocean cruiser, the Starlight. Still though. The new VOW is an extremely dangerous creature, even in its human form. VOW is a human form. That's cool. Leon S. Kennedy of Raccoon City's police department was tracking the VOW. But as but we now have lost contact with them. His last report came in over 24 hours ago. Now this is strangely familiar to Resident Revelations, even having with, with, with uh, someone going missing, you know, going into rescue them type of thing on a cruise ship. Objective: Location Leon or locate Leon S. Kennedy and eliminate the BOW. Insertion via helicopter. Here we come in in our grand spanking new helicopter right through the rain. Location, the Starlight, currently cruising in the Atlantic. Extraction, via helicopter, deployed on re or receipt of radio transmission. Okay, so that's also our grand escape method. Now then, operative, Barry Burton. Look at Barry go, he's ready for this. I'm just looking at that portrait and appreciating his manliness. Good luck with your mission. That's the spirit. Now we're in the game. Oh, never mind. We're getting first message from HQ. HQ, Barry, come in over. I'm going to give them all a different voice. Let's see. Copy. Uh, I can't obviously do a Barry. Like, <laughs> you are almost a chill sandwich. I want to do something like that. 
copy, I read you over. You are now on the side deck and, I guess, second floor. Make your way west to the lobby to enter the ship. Look for useful items along the way. They may be hidden in boxes or other containers. Your alert icon will show when an item is nearby. You can then pick up this item. Good luck, Barry. Over and out. Barry time! So that, that that's the alert icon. That's a door. Uh, there's not too many icons. I can pull out my gun. Do my gun point out icon. I got all day. Look at that gun go. Once I pull out my gun, apparently I can aim somewhere, but my radius is kind of limited. This is as far as I can aim. And I would assume I would press to, like, you know, attack with it. Shift is my inventory, or the select button. I could discard my weapon, because that's a good idea. I've got a knife. Notably, I have unlimited... No, no, I've got 12 shots with a handgun and limited ammo with a knife. Uh, we also have limited inventory slots, because it's an old-school Resident Evil game. Got it. Well, I think we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots, it seems, so it's not too bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna look around and see what we see. Like, this has an icon on it, so I'll press it. These bullets are are used with the handgun. That's about what I would have expected. Now we have handgun bullet? Oh, yeah, they just get added to my gun automatically. Got it! Barry's got a handle of this. Barry's got this handle here. Barry coming through. What the fuck is this? Don't know. It's a note, I think. Your current objective will be known or will be shown in your PDA. Your PDA will also show all the information you have around. You have found. Okay, found, not round. Your PDA can be accessed from your inventory. Your current objective will also be shown on your map and will be high or highlighted in red. Your map will also show where you are currently are highlighted in green. As you complete your objectives, your current status will be saved. You may then continue your mission after a restart. At set times, you may also save your situation in slot 1 or 2 or 3. You may then continue your mission from slot 1, 2 or 3 when you restart. Invigorating. And yep, this is Barry Burton of the Barry Burton fame. I was going to the left, I want to see if this directly leads anywhere if it's locked. Now it's locked, that icon means it's locked. I should have tried that before, but now I know. The, this shadow effect, this door is also locked. Think these windows have anything spooky? Nope, is this a door? That's a door I can enter into. I'll look inside. Peekaboo! Interesting way to handle the door loading animations. Um, it's a pretty big open area full of nothing but anchors right now. Guess this is me having my Titanic moment. WHEREVER YOU ARE! Okay, I'm done. I'll run back over this way. Oh, there's just a big old hole here. Can't fall down or anything, it's just a hole. Huh. This isn't quite the cruise linear I was expecting. That's locked as hell, it would even be. Anything Barry sees along the way? Don't say anything. <clears throat> nah, there's no ammo or anything. No doors here either. Think this will be like the final boss arena when we make our escape via helicopter? I bet I'm right. Anyways, let's go on through. I don't know, there's another door. This is the door that we came through. So that's not where we need to go. I, I bet you, though, that's where we're going to make our final boss escape. Because probably like older Resident Evil games, we're going to have to find different escape routes here. You got this, Barry. I like how the character's lighting changes whenever you're in light or darkness. And that's kind of a weird, non huge deal, but it's kind of nice. Look at that transition between sprites. Here's something. This herbal compound will restore medium damage. It is a yellow herb. Because they were cheap and they didn't want to make a mixed herb mechanic. Got it. Oh. Barry, be careful. We have detected hostiles in the lobby. If you need to use your targeting system to attack these hostiles, once your target is activated, you can aim at these hostiles. The sight will indicate when a hostile is in range. Deactivate the target system once a hostile is in range to start a battle. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is signed or aligned in the hostile to be hit. Remember that your weapons are less effective at greater distance. Caution is recommended, though avoid conflict if you can. Be careful in there. Uh, will do. Over and out. 
that door's obviously open. By targeting whatever, do they mean this? As in aiming my weapon? Is this targeting mode, I guess? Whatever they were trying to call it? Well, there's apparently hostiles in here, so be wary. Oh. What in the name of... What has happened to these people? They're not human anymore! I want to do the acting really cheesily. Oh no. Well, I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, well, bear fight zombies. These are blocking the door for me. Oh no! Oh no, how do I get out? Push it! Oh yeah, right, so basically, this game. Do you notice how there is a... Uh... Okay, that zombie's dead. So there's an aiming system. This is this game's combat system. Got a headshot. You can get the critical range, you get a headshot. Oh, that zombie's still alive. He's just crawling on the ground, making sounds to disrupt the music. He's <laughs> like disrupting music badly. Okay, you know what? This actually might deserve my knife. Let me go pick up my knife and try to see if I can attack this enemy. Use the knife. Go back to my main menu. Obviously, it's got a timing to it. Oh, it's attacking me! Got it! A zombie should be dead. Why are you still alive? How much do you have to fight back for? Oh no, no! Okay, here we go. Being in immediate combat with it. Try and kill the thing. Okay, it's finally dead. I just wanted to get rid of it. Fortunately, I might have lost a decent amount. Yeah, I've lost a decent amount of health thanks to that. I was okay before I started trying to mess around with that thing. I guess I should probably use my herb. Yep, because it said medium health, so I just assume it's immediate medium health. So we have a little bit to get used to in this combat system, but invigorating stuff, am I right? Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's a hostile. Oh, no. Is that so... What is... Okay, so... Try and inform me that the enemy is over there, I think. That's kind of a weird system. I, I can see the enemy on the screen. Let's guess that meant something else. No, I think that meant something else, because there wasn't popping up with that one. Avoid hostiles if possible. Like this right here. What does this mean? Does it mean I can shoot something? Like, I'm trying to figure out the red doo doo doo. I don't think it means enemy in the territory, unless, of course, it does. Oh, I think it means I'm making sound. My footsteps can be heard. What's this? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. When I tap the button, it just makes that thing pop on and off, so... What does this say? When you try to run away in battle, you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. Oh wait, that's how you run away? Oh. Zombies will try harder to hit you whilst you are running away. Once you tar start to run away, you cannot rejoin the battle. So wait, okay. So hitting the middle isn't a critical shot like I thought, it just is a headshot. Cutscene. Make way to the security room on 4th floor. Try the elevators to the west. Maybe you can locate Leon with the security cameras. Okay, I'll make contact when I get there. Over and out. Says my terrible and very impression. Always be on the lookout for herbs to pick up. If you are wounded, these will recover lost health. Apply a herb within your inventory to recover lost health. Search zombies as they may sometimes be carrying herbs and other useful items. What? Search zombies? How would I do that? Oh, this herb will come down and restore light damage. So that's a green herb, not a red herb or something. Got it. I want you to assume I don't just walk up to the zombie. A heavy-duty electrical fuse used for the cool-in system in the refrigerator room of the first floor. Okay, it's obviously a key item, so that means that there's an enemy within range. Yeah, in there. See the zombie in the dark? God damn, I was gonna shoot it, but I guess we're into combat. Oh, 
Okay, well that zombie's dead. Don't care, zombie don't got shit on me. Oh, he's a fast walker. Let's see what this one has. You can equip yourself with a different weapon within your inventory. You also have access to your inventory when in battle, but be careful, the action will not stop. Okay... What's in here? I'm just exploring. That door is just locked. Well, you know, I'll battle you. God damn, I'm really bad at this aiming system. I always get grabbed, so I'm probably in low health there. He has a medium herb on him. So that's what they meant. Got it. I'm, on, I'm still in decent health, surprisingly. What's in here? Is this a bathroom? I think this is a bathroom. Can't open in any of the bathroom stalls. Don't at least see anything I can be able to have open, so yeah. I, here's something, though. These bullets are used with the handgun. How many bullets do I even have in general? 17? I'm getting low. I should be wary about combat now. Here's something else, though. You do not have enough... Sh uh, you do not have the shotgun. You cannot collect this ammunition. What? Okay. So if I find a shotgun, I can get shotgun ammunition in this bathroom. Is there, like, a map I can look at? Here's my PDA info. The personal digital assistant contains all man or messages and objectives that you have collected. Okay. I will use it. Make your way to the security, because that's just timing my objective. Info, your current objective will be showing your PDA. Aren't I looking at my PDA? Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. Just to make certain. Make your way to the security room on the fourth floor. Try the elevators to the west. Okay, so that's my objective. I got coolant. I have some herbs. Ran a little bit low on ammo. My inventory slots are starting to get a little bit low, so... The zombie disappeared, notably. I can also run over here. Bullets with the handgun. Always nice to have more. <laughs> oh no, not female zombie. Some of the zombies can poison you with their attacks. If you are poisoned, you and your health will suffer for a period of time. Use the blue or purple herbs to cure yourself from the poison. Your display will indicate when you are poisoned. This herbal compound will both cancel out poisonous infection and destroy and restore heavy damage. Well, I think it's time for... God dang it! Time to fight! Okay, now you. Bullets! Now get away before she starts crawling, like we all know she's going. How many bullets do I have anyway? Okay, I got a few more bullets. I'm doing a little bit okay. I'm doing slightly better than I was. You do not have shotgun. Okay, so... So I need to find a goddamn shotgun is what I've picked up from all this. Uh-oh. I'm gonna pick this up. To unlock a door, you must use the key when you are near that door. Use an item like a key, you must to, uh, go to your inventory. Okay, that's what that lesson was for. Uh oh, did not mean to battle with you, but sure, sir. We'll fight. Just wanna shoot game a little bit okay with the timing of that game for better worse. So I just wanna see if there's anything in there. Killing zombies as I go. How do I fire? Do I press the button again? Okay. I need to figure out how to fire in those scenarios. This key is... Th one of the zombies was carrying a key? Okay, well now I know they can have keys. It's used to operate a set of elevators to the west of the ship. Oh, that means I needed this to be able to continue. These bullets for the handgun. So heads up, some zombies are carrying keys. This is a pump action weapon that is tricky to aim, but gives medium damage. Obviously I want that, that's the goddamn shotgun. Who are you? These shells are used with a shotgun. So this is for the elevator is, I think. 
Let me get the shotgun shells I missed a little bit behind now that I got the goddamn shotgun. Notably, the zombies despawn when you go off the screen with them. The ones that are laying down. One bright side with the game is they do try... They do seem to show and keep what items you've picked up and saved, so they're doing a pretty good location system at the very least. Let me go down here. I am after these shotgun shells. Okay, now how am I doing shotgun shell-wise? Okay, 27, 32 shotgun rounds. I'll save it, though. Let's investigate a little bit. You can't fire? Are you sure? That means what's this for? Okay, so if I can't fire, then what, what is this mode for? I've been trying to press with it, but it hasn't really done anything. Am I supposed to, like, aim my gun their direction I'll start a combat scenario without them grabbing me when they grab me like that? Oh, my inventory is just basically however big it is. Use. Item used. The key door is now open. I'll get back to that. But how do I initiate it? That's what I've been trying to figure out. I've been trying to fire. Huh. For some reason it hasn't been working there. I just keep on getting grabbed and having my combat scenario. To escape from a zombie's grasp, struggle by trying to move. Okay, well, that's what I've already kind of figured out, but sure. Oh, this is a save point. Um, save one, please. Um, that's nothing. How about this? Oh, this is supposed to signify if I can go up or if I can go down. I just went up right now. Well, let's see what's up here before I continue wherever. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, I figured out how to initiate it now. I actually just hold B and then let go of B and that triggers the combat. So basically, okay, I figured it out though for the future, basically. Okay, running low on ammo, there we go. Do you have anything on your body? You have more bullets, that's always helpful. You may use your targeting system to attack any hostiles. Once your target is activated, you can aim at any hostless or hostile enemies you meet. The sight will indicate when a hostile is in range. Deactivate the target- this is explaining what I just figured out right now, you could have explained this earlier. The target system wants the hostiles in range to start a battle. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is aligned with the hostiles to be hit. Remember that your weapons are less effective at greater distances. I wish the files actually, you know, had files about the story in the game, not just the combat system and gameplay mechanics, but yeah. I... Why did I need a key to open up this door when I could just go use the other elevator? I do not understand the logic here, because it doesn't lead to anywhere the other elevator didn't lead to. The music's changed, though. Let's go! Let's go on the cross. It's actually not that bad of a game, all things considered, but I'm going upstairs. That's a green- oh, it's a zombie with a crowbar! The security room will probably be locked. I may need a key for it. Do you have a crowbar? This herbal compound will restore light damage. Okay, that works. This is actually a story note. Be on the lookout for armor equipment. Uh, equip yourself with the armor you find to protect yourself. The stronger the armor, the less damage you will suffer when you are hit in battle. Remember, useful items such as armor may be left around the ship by the crew and passengers. Look out for these items and always watch for your alert icon. That's a 
that's a creepy looking zombie. But he just disappeared off the face of the plane once he was done. Well, time to explore. I want to see him get closer. There's his beautiful mug! This security card is used to gain access to the security room on the fourth floor. I kind of need to beat zombies to see if they have key items, though. So the game's like, avoid zombies, impossible, but then they have things I need. Anyways. Obviously, we're alone handgun ammo, though. Uh oh. Thankfully, that took out that zombie, or else I would have been in a bad way. Well, I kind of want to save my shock, and I'll go knife for a little bit. I'll try to avoid combat for the moment until I find some more shells or whatever I'm looking for. This rope is strong enough to hold this weight of any full-grown man. All right, well, thank you for the rope, I think. I can cross over this way. This is fine. Ma'am, I don't have any ammo. Fortunately, I have to run past you. The women zombie are fast. Do any of these beds have anything? I'm just running across the deck, don't mind me. I'm trying to see if there's anything of use. That's a swimming pool. I can avoid this. That's a locked door. Uh oh, time to get into combat here. I got my knife pulled out. Knifing to the best of my ability! That worked, surprisingly okay. Health's a bit low, but not low. It was a bit lowered, but I'm fine besides that. Here's whoever this guy is. It's nothing. I can just clip right on through him. What's over here? Nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Gonna run over this way then. Sorry, guy, you weren't totally tubular, apparently. Still searching this whole area for handgun bullets. Yeah, okay. Either I have to play my cards really right, or I'm gonna have to play tricky to get by the zombie. Remember, move arrow keys. Okay. Does she have anything? She has goddamn handgun bullets, thank god. No, jeez, I'm a little health. Uh. I'll use a green herb first. That healed full health anyway. What? Said. Never mind. Use that. I'm gonna figure out this herb system later. Can I go in the pool? Have a party? Does she have anything on her? This buy has nothing on her. Got it. I'm still looking around for supplies, obviously. Supplies are the top priority. Let's go, Barry. Let's go. There's a door. Oh, that there, there was a dog or something in there. No, that's just a zombie. I'll come back there. What's up here? Uh oh. This doesn't look desirable. His body had nothing on him, so I knew it was a trap. Don't come at me, zombie sir, I'm going to avoid you. I still understand what those red icons, the boo 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 sound is for. Sounds like it's trying to warn me of something, like maybe there's a zombie in the area, it's always when I see it, but yeah. I... <laughs> yeah uh... I don't understand what that's for, so... Well, let me take the fucking stairs here. I can go either higher or lower. I'm gonna go higher, I guess.
Oh, this is supposed to be signifying how I got here. Got it. Does that mean the other direction's even higher? Let me find out. Like, is this higher? Here we go, I got somewhere. That's locked. I don't know which way I was up and which way I was down. I just chose one. I guess that leads down, so yeah. It's kind of confusing to figure out which way is up which way is down. I'll go up here right now. Or they both lead to the same area? I guess they're just stairs that lead to the same area. Huh. That's kind of weird. I think there was more stairs over here, so I'm gonna go explore a little bit. Like that. What was up here, even? I guess there was nothing. It was just an area I could run up to for some reason. Excuse me, zombie with a crowbar. It's not what I'm looking for. Just the, uh, 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 uh. And I sort of run through a few different areas and see what I can see, so yeah. Fortunately, Swimmer Dude still has nothing on him. Hmm. Is this a door? That was locked. Oh no, I got into combat. Not what I wanted. If you don't have ammo, beauty. Ah, she didn't have anything on her. How much ammo do I have left? One bullet. It'd be much better to go with a knife in this case in case I get caught so I don't run out of ammo in the middle of the combat scenario. Well, this is potentially a pickle. That looping sound. I'll take the upper path, if possible. Oh, here's something I can enter. You do not have the grenade gun. You're not collecting ammunition. That's unfortunate. You do not have the grenade gun. Why do I not have the grenade gun? Well, time to fight. I can't really do anything until she gets closer. No grenade gun? Oh, I'm poisoned. This herb will completely cancel out the infectious poison. Well, guess what? That's just what I'll do. Yellow herbs, what does it do? Why do all herbs restore fully restore my health? Even the green herb did before, but still, though. Is there any difference to them? Well, there's grenade gun ammo here. I'll remember that. Outside of that, I really don't know. I'll go up here. Why is there a door to go over here up here but down? Well, I guess there was a door down there as well. Time for me to crisscross check this last sauce. Yeah, I think there's nothing else here I really need. I need to go back down. Wherever it might lead me to. That's locked. I'll just take whatever elevator will take me down. I guess you're the option. Can't go up, so I gotta go down. Can't go any further down, so let's do it. Already basically killed all the zombies through here, so it's really whatever at this point. Just gotta run on back, see if there's any supplies for some reason I need. Ryan, you have three life bars, green, yellow, red, like Resident Evil does. That, then I have more health than I realize, and I've been wasting the medical items not realizing that. Now then, I might get into a place where I'll just roll with the punches right now. Usually I end up with too many supplies anyway in Resident Evil. We'll see where this goes for me. Well, this is going to be fun. Alright, see how this is going to go down. Oh, 
All zombies must die. I'm ready. Okay. Ready for it. And there we go. Everyone died. Handgun bullet. Somehow I shot the zombie through the wall, even though it doesn't really make any sense. And I got shotgun shells from that. I guess that is what it is. I'll hold off healing the ringer. Yep, it's different bars. That could have been explained a little bit better, but that's okay. Hello, purple zombies. Want to do the purple zombie thing? You now I have the grenade gun. Well, when I find it, I'll know where to find some grenade gun ammo at this rate. I'm just searching for supplies, women. Nothing there. Let's move on down and see what else I can find around these parts. The answer is a whole lot of gambling pool tables and other diner tables. I'm assuming I'm inside the dining hall or something right now, because it probably isn't a casino or something. They got a moat, though. Very fancy. Hmm. Do you have anything on you, sir? A grubby, a grubby key used to open one of the ship's kitchens on the first floor. Apparently this kitchen is very important because I also got the container thing earlier for it. And that's a locked door. This herbal completely restore heavy damage. Good to know. You don't have anything on you, man. I'm gonna keep past this zombie though. There's something over here. Herb will revive some damage. Good to know. I don't know where it was stored at, but yeah. I... Yeah, yeah. I... Just investigating. There was another up area, so yeah. I... Let's flip on through. Up we go. Uh oh. This is about what I was worried about. Well, I was hoping for more ammo, but you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that, I guess. Kinda taking on every zombie at this point, which is not good. Let me go select my knife again. He's in a green herb. You can't really combine herbs in this game, so... I get info, though. Yep. That's what I get. I'm gonna save my shotgun shells for when I think I need them, though. I never really checked down here, so... I guess it was nothing! <laughs> of course. One more area. I guess I'm gonna go back over here, then. Yep. Night of the Dead living. Oh, this isn't Crossy Blood. Of course, nothing else to see. I still don't understand what the red is, besides, I think that's where enemies see you. Well, time to fight them for my life. Ooh. Oh no. You can't do anything until they get too close, so... Let's hope for the best out of the scenario. I'm hoping for the best out of the scenario. Ah, okay, now one more zombie. This was an unfortunate encounter. A chance encounter, if you will. 
on the red health, because I can't. And of course the zombies all drop nothing, because they're so helpful. But I did want to see if this door led to anything. And of course it was locked. I'm going to stupidly run up here. Sort of lure the zombie this way. Now I can run up here, easily enough. And of course there's a zombie right there! Oh no, I'm dead. Maybe for the best. I decided I was gonna live. Figured that's how I used the inventory. Come over here, miss. I'm gonna throw knife swings at you in the meantime. Ah! Please have something of use. God dang it. I'm poisoned. Whatever, I'll hold out. I'm doing so terribly. It's but nope, whatever. I'm fig I figured out a lot of the game's mechanics in the downtime though. That's the bright side. Let's explore. That's a door that's blocked off. You know what? I'll fucking hightail some zombie combat. Hopefully I don't get poisoned again. Purple herb, another one. Guess they realized I was in a bad way. They decided to be a little bit nice to me. But anyways, but anyways... This is a lot of zombies. I'd rather not fight these things, so yeah. No! Ah, I don't even know how you run from battles, but I'm gonna figure it out. I didn't realize you could sort of dart from here. I guess I'm taking you all with my knife! I better hope that when you guys draw something nice on the inside. I didn't realize you can move your screen before that, though. That might be helpful for some scenarios. I can imagine that being helpful. I didn't realize you can even move it before, so... All those are locked. Everything over here is locked, and no zombies actually died, meaning this whole encounter scenario is pretty useless. I'm now on the first floor, so obviously I don't have a first floor kitchen key at the moment. Yep, I'm feeling like that was mostly useless. Now I'm gonna probably get grabbed up here. Ugh. Well, I'm basically boned. I try so hard! Good to know that about knifing, though. That could have turned out a lot worse. Unfortunately, that zombie's still alive. Do you have any items on you, sir? You have yellow herbal medicine. Do I still have the purple one I got? Yeah, okay, so I think I can handle it. I'm not really running out of ammo, and I guess I am killing zombies, so I'm making some sort of progress. Okay. PDA, do I still have the same objective? No, that's the key. It's for the first floor or something or another. PDA, use. Find the key to unlock security room on the fourth floor. Use it, the security cameras. Okay, so that's still my objective. So obviously I need to go up. 
Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to tell what way is up and what way is down here. I'll go this way, though. I think I know where I need to go now, at the very least. And I did clear out some areas, I guess, so let's see how this goes for me. So many places to come and see and come to go. Security room, you're next up on my to-do list. Right on some things, but hopefully not enough things. The zombies seem to be able to randomly drop some healing items, so maybe I can use that to my advantage. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what doors are what. I don't have a map or anything to my knowledge, so... Security card? Yeah, I have a security card and a rope, apparently. Don't know why I use either of these items, but I guess I'll have to figure it out. For some reason, they really want me to use this elevator originally. Let's go on down and investigate. Pretty sure this isn't the security room. I mean, I'll try. Used, didn't think so. So, time for me to figure out where the security room is. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the fourth floor. And supposedly, I picked up a security card that's supposed to be used on this floor, but where do I use it? I've got no idea. I'm trying to figure it out right now. The bright side is always do seem to stay permanently dead, which is very beneficial. That's so the grenade rounds were. Ready to combat? I'm ready to combat. It will take her out before she was a problem. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go anyway. What's over here? Oh, this is where it went. Well, I found it. There's no good indication where you're supposed to use this, though. At least I found it, though. Let's see... Hmm, what can I do with this hunk of junk? Barry searches through the switches on the control co or console to activate it. Wait a minute, this doesn't look like one of those creatures. Hey, listen up, can you hear me? He says to this character on the Leon? Is that you? Huh? You know Leon? Who are you? I'm Special Agent Barry Burton. I'm a friend of Leon's. Even they've never been in their lives. I'm Lucia Leon. Went off to... I'm Lucia. Leon went off to find the horrible monster that is turning everybody into... into... zombies. Leon rescued me and told me to wait here until he gets back. Where is Leon right now? I don't know. He left here ages ago. I'm scared. I keep hearing no I keep on hearing noises. Oh no, you have to help me. I think it's that monster banging on the door. He's here. Please help me. Don't panic. Calm down. Just tell me where you are. I'm on the sun deck. Hurry, the door isn't going to hold much longer. See, I don't have a map. Where the fuck's the sun deck? Hold on, I'm on my way. Am I supposed to have a map? Oh, enter is the map. Okay, so that would have helped me. Current location, security room. Third floor. Second floor. First floor. What's the what's normally the pause button on a goddamn Game Boy Color? So shh. save one. I thought just I thought I just heard a scream. It seemed to be some coming from the east. I'm gonna put my shotgun in case I need it. I'm coming, Lucia! He's gonna come and save the day, Barry Burton is. Barry's got this. The sun deck, though. There's a door over here that was locked earlier, so now it's open now. There's that scream again! This time I know it's Lucia! She must be really close!
But I don't have a key to this. It's not that. Follow the screaming to the east to rescue Lucia. But I don't... Uh, I think she's behind here, but I don't know where. Over there. Oh, I have an idea. It's crazy enough, it might just work. Oh, I thought I was going to use the rope to get in there. Fight me in Mortal Kombat! Medical herb. Now I want it, but I can roll with it. Oh, great. Here's some Mortal Kombat scenarios. This is probably really bad. Well, I just saved my game if push comes to push. I somehow beat every single one of them. Got some handgun bullet. Oh. And this key is used to gain access to the bar room on the fourth floor. Okay, I was hoping that's what I was looking for. See if any of the enemies had a key on them. It's a dumb design decision, I will say. Okay. What I think is a really huge dumb design decision is, hey, avoid the enemies, but wait, the enemies carry the keys you need. <laughs> then you have to start guess, because they don't have any visual cue to indicate that. So I'm assuming it's the bar room. Not that key. Barroom key. Yep, that's how I opened the door. Not gonna fight you, sir. Trying to avoid it. Sun deck. It's somewhere around here, I'm certain. See the zombie in the dark. Light damage. Uh oh. Well, here comes the scenario. Guess I'm gonna shoot these zombies with shotguns. Everyone get closer. Shotguns are better up close. See if you have anything on them at the very least. No. God dang it! Now, equip that. He doesn't want to use a shotgun on a zombie on the ground. Single zombie. Uh, this medium strength armor will reduce inflicted damage. Well, obviously, I'll put the, put the armor there. Titanium armor. Use. Yeah. Shotgun shells. I can roll with that. Also, is that inside the potted room? Nope. Well, that's all I want to know. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. More areas to explore, though. That's for certain. I can just avoid that. That'd be beneficial. Yeah, yeah. Flashing colors. This hallway was useless. Unless, of course, you have something on you. Then it wouldn't be nearly as useless. But yeah. I Come get me. Oh, 
I was hoping he'd have like a key item or something on him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone to Mortal Kombat scenario with him. Do you have anything on your body, miss? Nope. That's locked. That's locked. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can hear Lucia. She's on the other side of this door. Well, that means it's time for me to equip my magical shotgun. Honestly, I think I can use the green herb I'm carrying. All right. Barry reaches the sun deck. From the edge of the shadows, he can see something hiding or hideous and large chasing Lucia. Help me! Keep it away from me! If that's what that if that's the B O W, this is my lucky day. Here it comes the B O W dramatic reveal. That is <laughs> B O W, I guess. Sweet mother of, I spoke too soon. Look at us tentacles just waving all around in the wind. Ah! Get it off me! Time for a story moment as we fight it. Killed it. The B.O.W. dissolves into an dis or amoeba-like form, all that flashing fun. Then it disappears rapidly into the shadows. That thing just vanished! I'm glad it has finally gone. It was horrible. Are you hurt? Let me see your arm. What the? What the? Not a scratch! I could have sworn he hurt you. I... I was lucky, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, I guess. You were, but you were. But that, let's not rush that luck, okay? Stay close. That thing might still be around. No, he's gone. What makes you so sure of that? I don't know. I just feel it. Uh, right. What is it? Is something wrong? No, nothing. Come on, let's go find Leon. Da -da -da. She went to a party or something. This herbal component might come in handy. These bullets for the handgun might come in handy. I got enough to actually switch over to the handgun finally. But be it just let me ask what I would come. Oops, yep. They need to hire some better designers over there. I don't disagree. Oh, I can now switch to Lucia. Oh no, it's her health? Why can I select her? Oh, it's because if I want to use special items on her. She's my partner character, but she's not a fighter, it seems. Probably. Maybe. Gotta find Leon, though. Where be the Leon? See me in this room with all these zombies now attacking. Well, you know what they say. Battle theme, though. Yep, that's why I thought they might have a key. This key is used to operate a set of elevators in the center of the ship. You have to fight the zombies, basically. You want to make sure you continue on with the game, though. Not exactly my favorite design decision. Hello, Missy. Nothing on the body. Nothing on her body either. That's unfortunate, I was hoping. Well, that's okay. However, though, as some of you guys might have noted, it's been over an hour, so 